When beginning a central line dressing change, gather your supplies as needed. The all points dressing system and brawn injection caps. The number is determined by the number of lumens the line has. Educate your patient on the procedure, explaining what is to be expected and the importance of protecting the exposed line from contamination. Open the dressing system, which contains visual instructions. You'll notice there are two bundles, Step 1 and Step 2. Open Step 1 out lengthwise on a clean bedside table. All the supplies are sectioned off in pockets, and like reading a book, you'll start from left to right. All supplies are to be used for the correct procedure. Avoiding use of any supply is a choice to perform the procedure incorrectly. Two masks are available, one for yourself and one for the patient. Remove the drape, placing it under the arm of a patient with a pick or laying it on the chest, groin, or neck of a patient with a CVC. Remove the gloves. A Purell hand sanitizer pack is located on the outside. Wash hands and then don the gloves. Measure the circumference of a patient's arm at the pick insertion site or measure the external line of the CVCs. With pick lines, observe how many centimeters are exiting the insertion site. You will note the first marking on a pick is zero. Every black line from zero is a centimeter. This is to determine migration of the line. Note the external length of the CVC pick and or arm circumference, which will need to be documented in your nursing assessment. Next, there are three alcohol preps to assist in removing the existing dressing and stat lock. Once those have been removed, apply the Steri strips at the wings to secure the line from migrating out. Discard used products from step one, remove gloves, and then open step number two to reveal a second pair of gloves. Set the gloves to the side and completely open step number two. Wash hands with the gel attached to these gloves. Don the gloves. and start with supplies from left to right. Take the 4x4s to remove Steri strips and hold the line while cleaning. Take the Chlorprep sponge, engage liquid to the sponge by squeezing the levers. Clean the area at the insertion site and surrounding areas scrubbing back and forth, up and down for 30 seconds. Allow time to dry completely. Apply skin prep to the area where the stat lock will be located, as well as the area the dressing will be. Avoid insertion site and the catheter. Any skin pre-applied to the catheter wings of the catheter will make it extremely difficult to remove the dressing on the next change. Allow skin prep to dry completely. Note that applying the dressing before the skin prep completely dries will cause contact dermatitis. Once a patient develops contact dermatitis, they will have it until the line is removed. Contact dermatitis is an extremely uncomfortable, painful condition. Attach posts from Statlock to wings of the line and close doors to Statlock. Remove adhesive backing from Statlock and secure Statlock to skin.
Apply Gardevia patch with slit 12 o'clock to the wings. The patch should completely encircle the line 360 degrees. This will provide the antibiotic hemostatic protection to the line. Apply dressing to the line covering the insertion site and the wings. And then apply the securing tab under the lumens to completely close the dressing. Attach the sticky tab with your initials and date. Lastly, change the brawn injection caps by removing existing caps, scrubbing the lumen with alcohol prep, allowing alcohol to dry, then attach new caps and flush with 10 milliliters of normal saline. Apply Curos caps to all lumens. Once the dressing change has been completed, document the change in the Nursing Assessment Procedure section, including insertion site condition, external centimeters, and the patient's tolerance to the procedure. This completes our All Points Pick Dressing Change System Education. If you have any questions, please contact your clinical educator or IV therapy.